Today's video, we are finally cleaning part of the inside of this Ram 1500. You guys know the deal behind it if you've watched this channel. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back to today's video, you guys. So, I am just in the middle of cleaning. I wasn't going to film this because it wasn't that exciting, but I just want to show you guys how thorough we are getting on this thing. So, um, I guess just a little bit backstory before I explain what I'm doing. So, this truck we bought sight unseen and the inside of it and the underside of it, whoever had it previously like went mudding like crazy. So the inside was completely filthy. There's red clay everywhere. There's still red clay caked to the exhaust. That's not rust. That is just red mud, uh, red clay. That's, you know, almost impossible to get off. But there was a bunch of that inside of the truck too. So I have the seats out. We pulled the seats because even underneath the carpet was disgusting and I cleaned the seats. So even on the rails and stuff, like the rails were all caked full of red clay and dust and everything. I don't know if they were off-roading with the windows down. So anyways, I cleaned the seats. I cleaned all the stitching because this was almost like stained. I'll show you guys the product I was using to clean it. So Meguiar's Detailer Professional Choice All-Purpose Cleaner. So this stuff has been doing uh doing big things and do, putting in work on this and then where i'm at right now i was just like i said i was kind of doing this i wasn't really planning on filming it but it just keeps getting so crazy so this thing here i showed it briefly on our other channel but i'll link it down in the description below because i'll show you guys how this thing works it's called like there's a lot of names there's a lot of you know replicas of this whatever they're all the same but i think the original one was called tornado and it's got this little thing inside it that spins around and you hook an air compressor up to it and this thing essentially spins around and it whips air and water or whatever you put in here i've just been using water and it's like a little mini pressure washer so and you can adjust with this thing here you can adjust how much water you want it to be uh, using this is a better one it's got the aluminum in the end some of them have plastic tips which apparently are prone to breaking but this is the better one that i found so right now i'm just taking the you know cleaning along back here and I'll show you the dirty part and I'll show you what we've cleaned so far. And I was going to take the sub out. So I removed these two bolts. Um, one there and one there. And I was going to start to take it out because I was debating. I was like, ah, oh, it can't be that dirty underneath this, right? But check out the nastiness that's underneath this. Let me just lift it up. So we'll lift this up. There's going to be a wire on this side. So I'll just squeeze this and I can take this whole thing out of here. So we can get it a little more clean but check out all that nastiness you guys like must have had kids or something back here but look at all the crumbs and just nasty junk so uh it doesn't take much to take that out like i said it's just two bolts and then just one clip if you guys are thinking that you might need to clean or do a thorough cleaning on your truck and then i'm just going to try and clean as much as i can so see like all this this is what i was saying so see this like red clay everywhere it's just been caked everywhere on the inside of the truck so trying to get the interior as clean as possible and i'll show you guys the other side so this is the driver's side and we did work over here like these pedals were completely caked with red clay and it's gonna be like a i think it's gonna be a multi-stage process but i got it pretty dang clean this was all disgusting through here so and uh i haven't even touched the upper part of the dash like, i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like see how there's like red dirt in there that's the next part of this whole thing but i think for today i'm just going to try and at least get the carpet all clean as much as i can just so i can put my seats back in we can keep you know i still have to use this and drive it as my daily but uh, i'm trying to get at least the carpets and underneath the carpets or underneath the seats all clean so that i can um uh, you know so that it's not too bad and i can clean the other bit little bit by bit so the other thing i gotta do i don't know if we'll get probably won't get to it today's video but see like the dirt and crud that's like in the vents i'm gonna have to get some sort of long brush um, or try to pop out these vents and just maybe wash them or pressure wash them outside of the vehicle but yeah this stuff is just everywhere i don't know if you guys can see this if you guys can see that dirt like in there it's all red dirt and clay in there so just crazy amounts of dust everywhere but i'll show you guys the tools that i'm using because it's this is all like see down there on the ground that's all just for me washing it out of the carpet and it's all down there 
So let me go ahead, I'll vacuum that up and I'll show you guys what I'm cleaning. Oh, and just before I do that, um, I'll show you guys this side. So this side I cleaned and you can see here, see all the brackets are all clean now in here for the most part. Still a little bit of dirt here that I have to wipe up, but I agitated all that nasty junk in here and it's uh, shaping up to be clean here. So I'm gonna have to do the same to that side, which you guys just saw. <laughs> So I just got some of the dirt that was in there. Hopefully you can see a little bit, but this side is all pretty clean for the most part. So I'm gonna move on to over there. All right, so we got everything vacuumed up beautifully, but see how all this crud is stuck here? So that's where this little guy comes in handy. And then it's like new. And then over here where there's that kind of that crud sitting there. And any of that dirt that you can see there. And that's all clean. And then you can kind of see that junk there. And look, no more junk. Okay, so now I pretty much just use a shop vac just to vacuum everything up. So this kind of just like dislodges all the junk and kind of makes it go flying all over the place. So, you know, this was clean and now I got dirt chunks over here that were lodged in here. So it kind of makes it fly all over the place. But for places you can't reach, it's kind of the best option. So it kind of just dislodges it. Then you go around through your shop vac, clean up the whole area. But you can see it is really working well. So let me just shop vac this up and we'll get into some more dirty stuff. So see how this is all dirty in here? I'll show you guys cleaning this with that thing. All right, so I just cleaned this off real quick. I'm gonna reinstall it and then we'll work on this part of the carpet and all this stuff. All right, so that's all installed. Let's go work over there. Okay, so we've got it all vacuumed up, you guys. She's looking real good over here. So um, pretty much it for the most part. Like I said, there's still a ton of other cleaning to do. Hopefully you guys can see all that grunge up in there. Pretty nasty, but um, probably gonna save all that till later. Uh, maybe we'll mess with this for just a second and see if we can do anything with it, but there's still a lot of stuff. Like I said, all these vents and stuff, but that's gonna be in part two of this whole thing. So let's see what this does here. Oh, that didn't take much, did it? It's already clean. I don't know what 
the heck kind of goo is in here, but it got most of it out just like that. Well, that worked a little quicker than I thought, so let's try this dirty console here. Man, if you guys don't have one of these things, I would get one. <laughs> this thing is crazy. So I didn't use any solvent, just water. And it's not even hot water in it right now. It's just regular cold water in here. So pretty much all I have to do is put, you know, our you know your regular shine on it, like your armor all type stuff, and all the dirt is clean. It's just a matter of you know putting the shine on it. So there, that's all clean just like that. Huge time saving. See that junk right there? Let's see if we can get rid of that. Ooh, look at that, just like that, she's gone. All that junk, we'll just wipe it away. And she is clean. We can do a little bit in here too. Let's see. Like this thing even has red dirt underneath the cup holder. And now, you can see it all. <laughs> it just rinsed it away, so you just take this, and then she's clean. And red dirt all underneath this thing. Same deal, you guys. And wipe it down. So I wasn't planning on doing this, but it seemed to be moving quite long. See all that nasty stuff caked in there? Let's see what this thing does. It's all up in there. So that actually made real quick work out of that, you guys. All that junk, for the most part, is gone out of there. So, like I said, this is kind of just stage one of the cleaning process, but this is a hundred times better than it was. All right, so the inside is super clean right now, you guys. Back wasn't too bad. I just kind of uh, just wiped it down more than anything. There's more of the front. Over here is all clean. Dash is still gonna wipe down, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the seats in before I run out of light and we'll wrap this video up. This is part one of the cleaning series because she is dirty. Plug in our harness. And the battery is disconnected, you guys. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we disconnected the battery for all this so that we don't do any harm and all the washing that we're doing. Okay guys, so it's pretty late here, but we got everything back in. Seats are in, interior's in. I didn't go ahead and you know shine everything with you know armor all or something similar like that, but everything's in, everything's clean. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed it and the style of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, I can, there's gonna be a few more cleaning videos for sure because this thing is still not clean. In my standards, it's uh, a lot better than it was for sure, but um, still a lot more to go. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.